Well, hello YouTubers, young and old. It's Saul Lee SW here, and I am back at the grinder, and I'm hoping that I've turned down the music and the sound of these uh, ghouls enough so that it doesn't sound horribly loud. And you can hear my voice, that's the uh, point. Um, this is uh, the world of Constantia, and I'm here with my good friend Nemec, uh, who is kitted out here, and uh, and uh, he knows that I'm making this, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we have fun together. Um, recently he uh, renovated this area a little bit, uh, widened it out and made it a little more friendly. Um, I've got a few good things, including this awesome axe. And it's a bit of a story behind why it's called the accident. Uh, but anyway, I might get to that. Uh, ah, I was wondering why the music stopped. It stopped because he put on a music disc. There we go. So I might just say, very nice. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, I'm here at the grinder, but I wanted to do a second episode because we've made some... <laughs> he's dancing. <laughs> we were joking before about it. Um, I wanted to do um, just a, a quick tour of, uh, of the place because we've done some renovations. Uh, yeah, I forced him to dance. <laughs> okay, let's see the... Uh, ups is area oh man so hard to typing yeah <laughs> so let's come through here this is just where our main base is not much has changed here but we've got this um, chest in the middle here how do you do that well that's a trap chest so it's considered to be a different kind of chest which is why you can place it right next to a normal chest um, but what we want to do is actually actually I'm gonna go out this way because you can see it it's daytime raining no just clouds so we'll come up here and go out because I want to show you from the outside what we've been up to and then oh I've got to be careful I don't fall in that water we're running the version where if you fall in water you pretty much a cactus um, so you can see that we've made this structure here this uh, building uh, and it's uh, a really important building for us. Very big build uh, for might. Minecraft is too easy because uh, getting any kind of resources is really time consuming. So getting a lot of resources, like a ton of doors, takes a really long time. Oops. So let's go in here and you might be able to hear our friend the Squidworths uh, already. Yes, we have created a little mini village in here. So, this was twofold. Uh, this is because um, we wanted to do trading. And there's some great trades that some of the villagers have. We've got one guy here. This We've only got one of these purple dudes. But he gives, gives us the eyes of Ender. Um, he can enchant a pick. And give us an axe. And a sword. So, there's some... Yeah, some good things here. And this guy has got some good things as well. Um, fire protection and thorns. And I've used that to get... Because that's pretty cheap. You get an iron chest plate and two emeralds. And you get a pretty good uh, iron chest pl plate there. Uh, and experience potions, which we played around with. But actually are hardly worth the effort. They only give you a little bit of XP. And emeralds are actually more valuable. I'd rather have eyes of ender than experience that way. We've got our own grinder if we want to have experience. This guy, excuse me, does emeralds. Uh, Eyes of Ender as well. So um, he's he's really good. These guys are, you know, and we've got librarians who do um, books and paper for emeralds. So we can get emeralds through these guys as well as spend them. Um, and this is our chest for trading. And we've got 22 emeralds and a bunch of books and coal and things like that that we're trying to trade with. And we spruce this up a little bit. Uh, to get these guys, of course, we had to cure some of them, uh, two of them. And we had a little ramp on the outside over the water here. 
and a gate system. It was a bit crude, but it worked. And I just basically roamed around waiting for zombies until I found one that was a villager zombie and then brought it in here, locked it off, and then gave it a golden apple. And, oh, God, gold. We, um, we, we used up a lot of gold uh, and had to go to the nether to get gold. And that was a big problem. Um, uh, we got completely munched <laughs> in the nether mostly because of my uh, bad playing style tactics whatever um but yeah the uh the zombies the pigs pigmen in in the nether really they, they give you lots of swords and occasionally gold nuggets which is great um but when you get them angry they jump about and they they, they do tend to hit you and in the nether we have this all these problems around the, the portal and yeah, it was just a bit ugly. But we eventually got enough nuggets to make the gold ingots, which we then used with the apples to make the golden apples, and then you use a weakness, splash weakness potion, and the golden apples, and eventually you end up with two villagers. And if they're in a, splay, a place like this, which we've, you know, got a nice roof and everything, but importantly, and this is Nemex design, it's, it's really good, um, because we've got space, they've got space, uh, and importantly, they start breeding. And they breed because of these things. All the doors. Underneath them is a 16 by 16 door uh, area uh, with water in the middle. And because this is um, Might uh, and the version we're on, you can't move water source blocks. So you have to actually build this over water. Uh, otherwise, you're stuffed. And in the middle there is a 2 by 2 um, hole which goes down uh, so uh, firstly that all these doors are open to the air on the other side um, and oops gotta be careful I don't get shot by a skeleton the point is that the breeding algorithm works out how many doors are in a village so if you have lots and lots of doors then you can basically get quite a few villages and you need quite a few villages too for another thing which is iron golems and iron golems are awesome things because when you have iron golems you end up with iron when they die so there's a village up there for trading and downstairs this water is where the iron golems actually spawn don't t ask me why they don't spawn upstairs i don't quite know i think the exact placement of the these are all half slabs is important um yeah, Nemec saying that it's, uh, it was a lake before, and, and, and I made that point already. Um, I think he used sand, possibly, to make the water flow. Place blocks and remove them. Not sure, I wasn't around. This, this all kind of was created when I wasn't playing for a while. Um, it's not entirely safe from spiders here, as you can see, but this uh, sword, um, sorry, axe, uh, battle axe, is pretty, makes pretty swift work. Um, anyway, let me go downstairs slightly from here because I want to show you what's underneath. And this is this is the center of that area. Uh, and so the iron golems get pushed into here and fall down here. And they're too wide and they hit this pressure plate, which um, it's equivalent of, well, it's a bit hard to see it, but it pushes a block out there. You can just see there's a block there. We can turn it on manually, but if the pressure plate is activated, it happens through this redstone. There's not a lot of redstone in this. You can pretty much, I think, see all of it. Um, there's the underside of the piston. It's a sticky piston, presumably. Um, so anyway, the iron golems get whacked in the head by that block, and then they start to suffocate. And they take a lot of damage, and we might see one, but eventually they die, and these hoppers um, put all of their... Uh, stuff in here and then their drops also then go into these we've expanded it we did just have one chest but we've expanded it with double chests so yeah look at that <laughs> did you think you would ever see such a thing in might as that it's awesome it really is awesome so we have effectively infinite iron um, going on because of our villages and um, it took a lot of work to make this happen 
but the payoff is huge we we can now have constantly have full iron gear multiple iron picks all iron everything iron and even if we actually destroy them it doesn't matter I'm, and I'm still repairing them it's just a habit I'm just probably going to continue to do that because it's particularly if you enchant of course you don't want to waste them um, yeah the golems are five minutes or so between each one um, and then they they do fall down sometimes I thought it, it wasn't actually working but you know you can see from from this that it is working that we seem to need to be online for it to be active I don't think it happens while we're logged off and there's no players in the world but uh, I better eat something yeah so that is completely awesome but one problem we've got uh, is this version of might the eyes of ender don't work properly um, we believe it's going to get fixed in the next version uh, which we're hoping to get to soon um, uh, because now that we've got iron we're really ready for it uh, Nemec saying that uh, golems spawn every six minutes on average but it only happens, sorry I didn't see that after a few seconds or every, even ten minutes it can, so it's random yep yeah um, so look I don't think you necessarily need to see it happen um, but believe us they drop down there get whacked in the head and, and off we go so downstairs uh, not much else has changed and uh, we've still got in our main chest here we've got some ender pearls we've actually killed some endermen directly um, we have been to the nether and killed uh, I haven't but Nemec killed some blazes and got blaze rods didn't find a blaze spawner but has got a couple enough to to make one stand and I think we've got where is it here yeah we've got one blaze rod left which we're saving up we found um, some where is it look at that some of the special super secret ore and I kind of want to show you where we found that because that's down here uh, we had some fun or I had some fun we had some TNT left over basically in about I don't know seven or something um, and I thought oh you know let's just go down and blast some stuff this is just after we had created um, the farm so mining you know this is Minecraft but in might you don't actually do a lot of mining because it's just far 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 too resource intensive and generally you'd run out of picks way before anything happened so we've oops uh, there are some here we've been able to almost um, do a little bit of branch mining which in might is kind of like wow really but um, the um, I'm gonna say this wrong Adam and Adamantine, Adam, <laughs> how do you say that? <laughs> Adamant, teen, um, uh, or is um, uh, we found that way just at the very beginning of this mine. I thought, oh well, yay, you know, and and a bunch of mithril as well. I was like, wow, we're gonna be rich. This is just gonna be ores like this everywhere. And since then, there's been practically nothing. Um. This is a what what one's this efficiency two? I'll show you what an efficiency four looks like, which is <coughs> oops, uh, I think about the um, fastest you can mine. Uh, it's still not you know super duper fast, but I guess it's pretty quick really. Um, and uh, there is there don't you you can't seem to get um, unbreaking. Uh, that whole enchant seems to have disappeared in might so things wear out um, really fast so I'm if you're watching the durability on my pick I haven't done that much while I've been talking we're almost done here and I don't want to actually break this pick so that's it that's as far as I go you probably go one more um, but you know that's that's fine so what's he saying we are in the reach level 30 enchant grind back to level 30 yeah so 
I lost a few levels. We there was a very unfortunate incident with lava. Um, let's just not go into it too much. But uh, the bottom line is, um, I fell into some lava, and everything I had on me and all my levels disappeared. Um, and that wasn't particularly good. Uh, so I'm back. I've been working my way back up, and I've got some pretty good gear now. And level 19 is not too bad. But basically, chests of cobble here. We're saving it. Uh, let me just show you too. Um, you don't smelt cobblestone to get smooth stone, so that's kind of a slight change in might compared to vanilla Minecraft that caught me out. Um, I don't know why that is, but anyway, you can create a you know, smooth stone that way. It takes time, like everything, and that's a, that kept our mithril pickaxe down here in case you find anything good. We can't actually repair this because we don't have, you know, an anvil yet. Um, probably won't. That's really hard to find that stuff and we need a lot of it for an anvil. Um, so we use that very sparingly because, you know, that's not a renewable thing. Whereas anything made of iron, you know, go nuts. So there you go. That's a, a tour of um, the facilities here. I've sort of stopped exploring the uh, mine shafts a bit because we've got this sort of real vertical center thing happening where we've got a base here <clears throat> down to get your ores up to get your iron and in between we've got oh you know the farm hasn't changed so we've still got plenty of food we go and tend that occasionally um, uh, we're running a little low on some things but pretty much you know we're not gonna die no way so, um, and you know, you get XP from cooking meat and stuff like that. Not much, but a little bit. So, that's it for today. So, I'm wrapping up. Time to dance. <laughs> uh, we joke about Nemec's got a good sense of humor. He's, uh, he's a good player to play with. So, um, yeah, we just sort of... Uh, <laughs> have a good time um all right um well i hope you enjoyed this um like subscribe comment whatever yeah and ender dragon here we come if we can get the uh version 80 uh, uh avonite has sort of said he's already he's going to fix um fix the ender ender pearls and um sorry um eyes of ender and we should be able to then go on the quest to um <laughs> the quest to find the stronghold and god only knows what terrors that will involve but um yeah we'll see how we go now that we've got iron uh trading and xp and food i think you know we're ready we're getting ready all right guys signing off thanks for that bye now